Hello creative designers, my name is Peter and on today's tutorial I'm here to show you how to add digital WooCommerce, uh, WooCommerce digital wallet payment method. On this, uh, on this tutorial we will know how to add this digital wallet. When the, I will take you through the, uh, the function from the setting, from the general setting on how to even add uh, the icon, how to set in the, the credit option. I also take you to the do the how you can also give some bonus to customer to motivate them i'll also show you how to even see the users who have the account and how you can even debit the account or even credit the account i'll also show you how to even customer can even be able to see uh how to top up uh customer can be able to even top up their wallet uh see the see the how to even they can even transfer their wallet they can even see the their transaction and they can even see how they are earning and they can even see their referral their referral bonus uh for referring a visitor and for uh the referring sign up and uh, the successful sign ups that's the lesson for today i hope it will be help you in your designing and uh you grow in terms of uh, skills in WordPress. Let's get into action. Let it get light. Let's get it light. For us to be able to add the digital wallet, what we need to do is we go to dashboard and we scroll to plugin and we select our new. On this search section, type Terra Wallet. Yeah, it's from the WC Beginners. It has, you can see the rating. The rating is very high. And you can see it has more than 20,000 active installation. Last updated three months ago before I'm doing this tutorial. So what we need to do is we install the plugin. And after successful installation, we activate the plugin. So after we activate it, so the next thing we need to do is we go to WooCommerce and select setting. We come to payment. And we come here and we activate the wallet and we set up so after you activate you have you click here to enable you can name maybe wallet wallet payment or you can name it the way you want whatever but it should make sense and save the setting close this one if you want to put it on top what you need to do is you click here you click on this point here again again to that top uh, top section and you save it if you want to put it down you use this one you use this arrow that is pointing down and you put it where you want it to be yeah you click on it like that and just save the setting whatever you want, may want it to be to fit in the checkout page it will just show up the next thing you're going to do is we go to telewallet and we set everything here we have the Teller Wallet and we select Teller Wallet. From here, you can see this one person whom I have and the remaining balance, you can see the amount. And if you want to like maybe to debit or credit the account, you just click on that gear, gear, gear icon and you just, if you want to credit the account, you just want, you just say, let's say top up of a hundred thousand a hundred dollars you you are created created in the account and you can write a simple description your bonus and you save the changes no after the top up you can see the amount has increased if you want to discredit uh to debit uh, the account you just click on this icon gear After the account is open, you just type the amount you just want to debit. Let's say five hundred dollars, and you click debit, and you say your credit, uh, maybe your bonus debit or whatever the reason. You can type the bonus, whatever. Just whatever. Type the whatever the description it is, and save the changes. This was a free. Uh, the available amount now for now is nine thousand dollars you can see if you want to see the summary of a transaction 
you click on this icon here you see you can be able to see even if it was a debit is a credit and the amount debited or the amount credited the detail or the reason why and you can see the date when from there we just go to telewallet and we select action the best thing about this telewallet is that is one of the digital and the latest so because for now you can see you, you can offer some bonus for the new reg registration like you just come here and click on manage and on this section you enable it and the amount you want to offer that new person you can see maybe three dollars yeah you have you need, the reason why you have created the account is uh the account is the balance has been credited be, uh, for becoming a member then you save the changes that mean when the new customer registers he will get three dollars in his wallet as a top up for becoming a new member the other thing is it offers even in if the if someone does a product review all you just have to do is come and manage and set the amount for the product review after that you just the reason why you have created the account and you save so the next thing we are going to set is this for referral you can also set the daily visit like the way we have done the other so i want to show you how to set up this daily referral i want just to just uh, let's load this page and you see the wallet function and you can see it, the, here we have the wallet button here let's click on it here you have it you can see the the, uh, the summary of his account customer can even top up yeah customer can transfer the, the money transaction but on this section we don't have the referrals so we, all we need to do is we come here and click setup whenever someone does the referral he will get an amount you can see like five and you can even limit per day or per week or per month you can set the limit yeah if you set no limit customer even if uh, even if he does uh, 10 successful invite you have to pay 10 times the amount yeah so uh the description is balance balance credited for referring a visitor the referral amount that this the referral for visitors for the successful sign up it will be 10 10 dollars you can also remit like if you see per day maybe you say two he'll get if if, if he does two successful invite uh two successful reference signups he'll get ten dollars if you say ten and he does ten eight successful and he doesn't know he doesn't make the threshold of ten he will not get the bonus so you can set per week per month or per day or no remit the description is the balance for referring a new member from here you have the referral format if you want to have numeric referral id or username as referral you can select whatever it is and you save it from here you just come to my let's load the audit and see now you see we have the referral section here let's click on it you see for now this my referral if you use this one i get the bonus and you the referral visitors the bonus there and the referral signups you can see and the total earning there you can see they can be able to trace their balance the next thing you're going to set is you come to teller setting from there we are going to, to general setting from the general setting we want to call it water top up or you can call it recharge or you can call it the way you want the account uh the icon just have to upload a new icon i have one i have here just select and insert it the minimum top up amount you can set if you say a hundred dollars if someone enter 99 he cannot be able to top up the account but it's always good to leave it for the customer to say for themselves maximum top up amount you can leave a maximum maybe ten thousand dollars if someone someone cannot uh debit more than uh more, he cannot credit his account to more than ten thousand uh 
dollars from there what do you want it to, to be we have the primary menu yeah here and we also have the footer menu let's check if we have it in the footer my theme don't allow that uh, i don't have it but we can also set it i'll show you where we will be able to set it from there auto deduct wallet balance for partial payment here yeah, you can select if the payment require more than my the shopping more than the, the wallet is having he will have to top up the other amount from there allow wallet transfer you can allow and you can allow the minimum someone can transfer maybe you say 20 dollars or whatever it is is always good you can uh, transfer charges you can even type maybe if you say 10 percent and someone transfer a hundred percent a hundred dollars so you'll earn your ten dollars so i will charge yeah remove this cash on delivery for the gateway to recharge the wallet no you cannot charge a wallet like by paying cash but if you have no, if you have an office like someone can come and give the cash and you top up the account you can allow this option allow paypal checkout and save changes from there now we are in the credit option so if you want to offer some reward uh, uh, if you have a reward program or you want to reward some cash you click on this and you'll have this option the well the process of, of cashback i want me to check when you can process a cashback when your transaction is completed cashback uh, cashback rule you can select either cut wise product wise or category wise yeah you can select how you want to give your cashback cashback type you can either use a percentage or a fixed amount if you use the percentage you'll have to select uh, the percentage amount all but if you select uh, this you see when you select percentage we have this option uh, cashback amount but when you select fixes you see we don't have some option here so i want it to be percentage per se, uh, if you do a hundred percent sale you get a ten percent cashback uh, you can cashback amount enter the amount uh, in cashback so you can maybe say 20 or whatever it is minimum cut uh, amount you can give some if someone don't reach this threshold you not have the cashback yeah and you can leave the uh, you can give the maximum if someone exceed this threshold you have set he'll only attain the cashback for the one you did set if you set a hundred and someone add a hundred dollars and you see someone and sells uh, make a sales of 120 dollars he'll only get uh the cashback for this hundred the 20 he will not get for late yeah that's how you said and this for them uh minimum is someone doesn't make the threshold he will not get the cash back payment uh gateway charge you can charge the customer uh you can charge charge customer when the add balance in your account uh in the wallet i will not recommend this but you can select it and set the amount you want to charge if this cash on delivery all in paypal checkout if you say in uh, five percent in paypal checkout and customer may be top up a hundred you get five percent dollars over hundred but i will not recommend that i want the customer to be free and you motivate them it is good when they are top up in up for free the account and you save the setting from there now we come to let's go to shop and try to do some shopping so we select the shop and we select one of the product and we select from cara this option and we add to cut and we proceed to cut we come here and select the cut view the cut so you can see you proceed to checkout customer fees everything here and you decide now you'll do a wallet payment select a wallet payment pay with wallet and you place the order 
the amount will be deducted from the wallet. Let's see. So the wallet has been deducted. Twenty-five percent. Ah, uh, twenty-five dollars. You can see everything. So you can see the amount has been deducted. Yeah. Isn't it? Didn't it work? Thought how you add a digital wallet to your to your e-commerce uh, website. Let's check the transaction and see how it happens. So you just come here for order number 549. You have paid $25. You can see the lead one are for deductor uh, for the debit and for the the green one are for the credit of the account. Customer can also do the wallet top up here. And once the if he does press he want to top up a hundred bob he'll proceed to check out with PayPal. Yeah. He, the customer will have only the option for top PayPal payment and proceed with PayPal. What if the customer want to transfer? Let's check out. Customer want to transfer amount. You need as uh, one registered email here and the amount and the liaison and proceed to transfer. And the customer can see the transaction from this point. You can see the summary of it. Yeah, you can even view. You can see how it's digital. And the next thing we need to do is with uh, the next thing we did highlight, uh, we did uh, check on it was the referrals. Yeah, refer, referring visitors, referring sign up, and the total earning. What if this option doesn't appear here and you just wanted to add uh, my wallet here? It's very simple. You just come to setting, appearance, menu. From here, you just come to WooCommerce Endpoint and select my wallet, add to menu, and set where you want it to be. Yeah, and you save the setting. And it will appear. And it will appear on this section. Let's refresh our page. There you have your wallet on your menu. You can add it the way you did. And the procedure is still the same. Nothing, nothing much still the same. So that's how you add a digital wallet. I hope you did learn something today. I hope it was of great benefit for you. Yeah. I wish you I wish you all the best in your creativity. Wish you all the best in your design and remember to like this video and share it with your friend. If you feel like comfortable, hit the hit the subscribe button and we meet on the and we meet on the next video. Thank you.